Initial Unity Tips Now, 1. Pay attention to the tutorial. The tutorial in this game is amazing and tells you just about everything you need to know to start. Watch how Takumi uses the throttle and the brake, try copying his technique as much as possible. A very good idea is, to come back to the tutorial once you've gained some experience and do it again, really focusing on perfecting your technique. 2. Shifting and gears. For default, you should shift up once the rev counter hits this border. Anything above or below, you're losing time. When drifting, you usually want to be in the highest rev range possible, to get more cornering speed and a good exit. Some cars, like the AE86 I use the most for example, get a better launch if you start in the 3. Arguably the most important tip is, stick to the racing line. A racing line is basically the fastest line, that carries the most speed throughout the course. Avoid driving within the lines on the road, or sticking to the center, which is only gonna make you lose time. As touches are usually very narrow, you will have to use every inch of the track, to carry as much speed as possible, so really hug the walls, which brings us to the next tip. Number 4, don't be afraid to get close to the guardrails and walls. To achieve the fastest time, you will have to learn this eventually, so better start as soon as you can. Number 5, Slip Angle. Initial Unity is a simcade, which means it's a sim racer with an arcade mechanic making the game handle differently. This mechanic is, that drifting is faster than gripping through the corners. One thing however, it always isn't. In turns that aren't so violent, you can use a method called the Slip Angle, a combination of drift and grip, where you essentially let the car slip, but not let it hop into a drift which would make you slower. This technique is often used in rallying too. Number 6, use curbs and guardrails. If you find yourself carrying too much speed through a corner, you can use a guardrail to nudge you into place. Sometimes, when executed well, this method is actually faster, guaranteeing you greater exit speed than if you were to drift with normal speed. That's how Takumi caught up to Shingo so quickly in the anime. Same thing, you can lock your front tires on a curb, giving you more angle without stepping on the brake. Remember, that these two techniques need to be practiced immensely in order for you to actually be able to use them properly. Also, the curb thing doesn't work for all the cars. Just. Some. Number 7, Use Ghosts of Other Players. In the game settings, you can find an option to turn on ghosts of other players that had finished the course. Try turning it on and following the ghosts moves. You can always try and learn why you're stagnating or see your weaknesses and work on them, seeing the results immediately. Learning from the best is going to speed up your improvement drastically. Number 8, Don't be afraid to experiment. If you're trying hard all over again, without seeing better times, just remember what Einstein said. The thing we're trying to do the same thing expecting different results is insanity. So if you have an idea, maybe I could take this corner in third gear instead of second, or, maybe I can jump over this wall to be quicker, then do it. Unlike in real life, this car cannot be destroyed, and you have an unlimited amount of tries, not having to worry about fuel or traffic. Get comfortable and experiment as much as you can. Also, use manual transmission.